All right, y'all. Welcome to Joe's Retro World. Today, I just want to take a look and explain a little bit of how important lighting is. As you can see, as I pan around to my room, it it does show clear. It is bright. You can see everything. But it's a little dark. It should be way better than this. Way better than this. Right there, that the Sega Genesis. See how the camera has to focus on this area? That should not be happening in this video. Everything should just be a bright, clear, vibrant, in focus. And that is due to the bad lighting that I have right now. Once I set up my camera and adjusted the lights, then I can make a video nice and clear. But until then, it is super difficult. And the reason for that is because when I switched to this new location, I used to have overhead lighting, which was a chandelier with five bulbs in it. And each bulb was 100 watts. And it had a globe around it filtering, softening the light so that it doesn't um, just shoot at me as if I was like this. Yeah, see how this lampshade shades the light, it softens it up, allowing for the light to be distributed, you know, evenly without having lines like that coming out of the lamp over there. So right now, I apologize for the quality of the camera lighting i'm still using my same samsung galaxy a32 cell phone it does have surround sound microphones and so that's why it sounds very clear my voice sounds very good to you yes it do yes yes <laughs> and i love it because i can hook up my headphones that i use for my playstation 5 right over there and other game systems and put it over this phone on my mount right here this is my camera mount that I got free from uh, Amazon. And I use that to make my videos. But for right now, I'm suffering with camera lighting and that's because I only have some lamps over here. I got this overhead lamp and it sucks. It really sucks because you can see it in the TVs. I don't like that. So once I fix that, y'all, I will show the installation of that. But for right now, I just wanted to make this quick little video just to say hello and that I appreciate all my new subscribers. I'm up to 1,806, I believe, or five subscribers as of now. This video, I love it. I thank you for that. I know some of y'all don't like the post that I do of, of modern you know, PlayStation 5 console or PS4, but it goes hand in hand with retro gaming. These systems over here would not be here if it wasn't for the other consoles the older consoles they will become old themselves this playstation 4 slim will be retro one day and we will look back and say why did i get rid of it well the same reason you got rid of your other systems they were replaced with something better than modern but okay y'all I'm going to be playing my God of War. I hate it that this camera will not show right because it's 1080p at 120 hertz and God of War is such a beautiful game on the PlayStation 5. I hope uh, you ever give it a try because maybe you'll fall in love with it like I did. I never thought I would, you know, fall in love with the game at that kind of style. I like fast paced games. Get in, get out just destroy everything over here I got a new little cabinet y'all I want to go ahead and show it before I leave it's made out of real wood I cleaned it up polished it up threw in some of my favorite consoles handhelds I mean I got my modded DMG in there my modded Game Boy Advance an original Game Boy the, sh the screen saver's screen is wrong, but Game Boy Color, SP. Oh, sorry. The micro always falls over. I need to get a stand for it. I need to order some of those. Same one that I got for the DMG. And up here, I got my Sega Game Gear, Neo Geo Pocket Color, and Game Boy 2, Super Game Boy 2. Next to that, I got my... 
little grandfather clock swings and stuff I got it for $25 at a garage sale got my Stanley flask I got a real tiny arcade working Ninja Turtle game back here works the batteries are going dead so I can't show it to you but see how there's it's so dark right here in this patch if I have proper lighting all of this would be bright and vibrant yes I can click and put the exposure up like this a little bit and it will help improve but it won't look right it's not correct color got my uh, Dreamcast over here hooked onto the VGA monitor that's that view sonic that I did an unboxing on of course my Ikigami master line monitor so yeah y'all I hope you uh had a great day if not no worries tomorrow's another day it will be better so until next time peace and much love from joe's retro world